Right, we're here people, it's happening. We're on the vlog, Mr. Wilcox, here he is, woo! Fresh look, Ah, oh, beautiful. We're gonna uh, announce a really, really exciting partnership between Electric House and a mystery man. So, mystery guest, do you wanna reveal yourself? Hi, I'm uh, Jason Ashby, I'm founder and CEO at UK Flooring Direct. We're a uh, pure play online retailer of wood flooring and wood flooring and vinyl flooring products uh, all across the UK. Innovations! Oh, really sick. My favourite recent innovation is Facebook testing monetizing content that's below three minutes. It's probably a reaction to trying to get people back over to Facebook from TikTok, so pushing back towards shorter video content when previously it's been all about going longer form, going the YouTube route. Well, now TikTok's the big dog in town, baby. So yeah, exciting stuff. I've become a carpet fitter and a pencil carpet fitter and floor fitter. Realised that actually you can earn more money if you had people work for you. So we, we opened a retail store when I was about 26, 27. But then the internet was coming along. We, we had a website built for £299. I think seven, eight years, we went from zero to 17 million. It was all built on the back of Google SEO in the good old days, when it, when it was... Uh, <laughs> all our 500 quid. We're just having a new website, launch, but it's just through testing at the minute. And let me tell you, it's not 500 quid anyway. <laughs> <laughs> can't get, you can't get the 299 deal you got last time. Right now, we have a live Facebook show Tool Station Tuesdays launched in the studio right now. How cool is that? Feels like Quidsins back again. I actually seen a few people in the comment section saying, "Good, glad that you're back." It just shows what an impact that uh, that weekly live had. Those guys in there are absolutely smashed. Yeah. Shout out to the production team and social shout team. Out to yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Shout out to the shout out, man. What a shout out guy he is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh look, he's pointing out. Consistent. Oh, oh, he's, he's making good. positive impact. <laughs> <laughs> on our communities. Consistent, positive impact. Well done, guys. What I do love about UK Flooring Direct is uh, how innovative it's been in the industry. Yeah, technology is amazing. And, and yeah, e-commerce brings the, the solution for the consumer to be able to find information out and self-service and self-inform. You'll be getting purchases, you know, in the middle of the night. Yeah, where, where oh, people yeah. are like, I need to sort this. And, whereas, you, you know, the, the, the retail um, our business cannot deal with that. It's it's having the ability to sell always. The exciting bit is going to be the text enhancements, which, which takes out the need for interaction between the customer and a salesperson or technician. That that's where that's where the big game changes are going to be and going to come. And that, that's currently what we're working on at the minute. Oh yeah, I still get frustrated if um, if someone makes me pay by putting my card into an actual. Oh machine and yeah. typing it. I get, I feel like saying I'm not buying it, I'm leaving. One of the biggest um, challenges for companies who are looking to really promote uh, innovation in a company um, is around destigmatizing failure. I think one of the reasons why people often feel uncomfortable talking about failure is that they feel like there's going to be blame. And I think this is where companies really need to look at how they um, treat mistakes versus how they treat failures and those failures and talking about those failures is where um, it can be really beneficial for the company to learn from. You guys are both CEOs, you're both entrepreneurs and one thing that I know about both of the businesses is that we're both really big on culture. For me it's all about people, you've got to get the right people and then when we went in, when we went through the Covid it was okay what do we do to protect our people? And we, we called an emergency board meeting and, and the number one priority was how do we keep our people safe and how do we make sure we protect jobs and get, get through this? We did exactly the same, called a board meeting. It was like, how do we make sure that no one loses their job? In the back of my head, I was thinking, what is going on? Not what, you know, this is going to be horrible months. Like, this is going to be the worst month we've had. We've been, we've been very productive. We, we've used Zooms a lot, we uh, Teams a lot. We thought it would be a bit more difficult, but it hasn't. It's been really good. In the context of the pandemic, people have had to be a lot more innovative in the way that they communicate with their target demographic. Uh, a lot of brands are coming to realise the responsibility that they have to their community. An example of that which I really love is by uh, Time Out and Instagram. So they are hosting a two day long virtual uh, festival showcasing small businesses around New York. 
Um, they're doing it online, obviously, which in terms of a try at local festival is very innovative. So for me, that's innovation done right at the right time. Lee, why do you think that the UK Flory Direct and the Electric House partnership is going to work so well? You know what I love about it is that it's, and I think it's just representative of what you guys are doing. It's just multifaceted. So we've got like mm. like retail, which will cover off across like on a budget, and then you've got trade, which covers off on. So it's like the perfect storm for me. Mm. You know, when the guys started talking about it, I was like, this is amazing. It's going to touch every part of our business. The reach of social and media is huge across across all areas, and it's exciting times. It's exciting times, and the digital revolution continues. Excellent. Thank you so much, guys. Pleasure so having you on, and I can't wait to actually meet you both in person. It'd be uh, miles better. Excellent. Good to see you guys. Thank you so much. Take it easy, guys. Cheers for coming on. Take care.